Hey everybody, welcome to a quick little instructional video here at the Motu Classics channel uh, about the Sideshow 12 inch Batman figure. Now I saw this on the Sideshow Freaks forums and I thought it was really interesting and neat how it was done. I don't know if anybody's done a video on it yet so I thought I'd go ahead and do one as I'm doing the mod on this to give people instructions on how it should be done if you may not be familiar with the Sideshow Freaks forums. I'm sorry, I don't remember who the original poster was on the Sideshow Freaks forum that did this mod. If I did, I would 100% give you credit. I'm not the first person to do this. I'm just simply doing a video of it as I'm doing it to hopefully help other people that may be interested in doing this mod. What is the mod, you might ask? That's changing the eyes on the Sideshow Batman figure. The eyes as they are now are mostly gray with a small little white highlight painted on. Now, I don't really have a problem with the head. I think it's pretty good as is. But since I have three heads, I figured, you know what, I'll do the small ear sculpt and make a change on it and see what it looks like. So I'm going to pop this guy apart um, and then do the paint job and then put it back together again and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Let's get that faceplate off of there for first. The way you're going to do this is there is a small little blue, light blue piece inside of here that is where the neck post pops on. Now you're going to heat up some boiling water or, you know, use a maybe a hair dryer or something like that to kind of loosen that a little bit and expand it. And we're going to get that blue post out of there. And then we're going to see what we've got after that. So let's start by getting the blue post out of there. All right, so here it is with the blue peg out of there. Now I got to tell you, this was not that much fun to get out. Um, what I did was I boiled some water. I got it really, really super hot. Took it off of the stove and then put it inside a little bowl and put the Batman head in there for just a small amount of time, maybe 60 seconds at a time. And then I would get in there with a flat head like eyeglass screw and get so that I was catching it along the edges. I would start at the front. See the front has sort of this flat space inside here. That's where the eyepiece is. Oops. And I would kind of wedge my screwdriver in there and slowly work it around the, the whole thing to kind of break up the glue that's inside of there. And then as the plastic would harden, I'd drip it back in, drop it back in for a few seconds, get it soft again, and then repeat. And eventually I got all the glue to crack along the sides, but even then there's some glue towards the top edge that I just couldn't get to. So what I had to do was I had to take a pair of tweezers and sort of wedge into the side there as I got all the glue cleared out. Got one piece in as far as I would, could go, and then slowly just pried until I could hear the glue cracking. This is not easy. So if you're going to do this, take a chance. You know you're taking a chance. You're going to mess up this head. Um, it is a risk you're going to take. So if you want to do it, be sure that you really, really want to do it because there's a chance you're going to mess up your head pretty bad. There are a couple of heads included, so you know you may want to take a chance on the one you don't like as much. But once you have that out, inside here is actually a small panel that just pops right out that has Batman's eyes on it. Kind of weird looking. Uh, it's got, it's a gray panel with those two little tiny white highlights. So now that we've got this out, what we're going to do is we're going to paint these entire white areas, or these entire gray circular areas, we're going to paint those fully white. We're going to start with a flat coat, and then we're going to do a gloss coat over that. Now I'm not going to make you guys sit through paint drying, so give me just a second while I paint this, and then we'll get back to it. Alright, so once you're all done painting, you should have something that looks like this. Where now both the sections are fully white. Like I said, I did a, a flat coat first, and then a gloss coat on mine afterwards. So that way when you reinsert this, it'll, it won't show that much white. It'll show the whites that are supposed to be showing on the eyes. Now when you go to reassemble, make sure that the little prong thing that's along the top of these two eyes is towards the top of the head. That's the way it's seated in the first time, so you want to make sure it's in that way again this time. Um, now what I did was I took these pieces that I took apart and put them back in the boiling water for just a minute or two, well not a minute, probably another 60 seconds or so just so that they'd get back to their original shape because we've been doing a lot of prying and pulling to get them out of there and the, the, the heat of the water will get them back to their original shape if you've got any um, like malformed pieces now. Hopefully you won't be, won't be too far gone that the boiling water will pull it back to where it needs to go. So when we reassemble this, we're going to put the eyes inside the head and then we're going to put the clip or the neck post in underneath that. I'm actually going to put a small dab of glue in places where I see there were glue residue before, just so that it stays together well. Um, I'm not going to do this while I'm trying to get behind a camera because I don't want to get glue all over my fingers or all over those eyes. Um, but I'll show you the finished product. Here we have the mod fully finished. We put our eyes back inside there after painting them. We've put the post back in there. Like I said, I put a small amount of glue on mine just so that it wouldn't pop back out. Um, 
I would still, when you're changing the head, make sure you kind of grip the sides of it and pull it so that way that post doesn't pull off as you're switching the heads off on Batman. Um, if you want to take a look at the comparison between the two eyes, here's the long-eared head without the mod, and then here's the short-eared head where we have done the mod. I'm going to put them there so I'm not shadowing them too much. As you can see, that the, the eye whites are much, much bigger. Um, and the eyes don't quite look as small and beady. Let's put a mouth in there so it doesn't look so funky. There we go. There we go. Unmodded eyes. A lot of gray. Very small little white areas. And the modded eyes with fully white areas. Um, so there you go. Hopefully this... Sorry if I could talk. Hopefully this was uh, helpful. If you do decide to do it, remember you're doing it at your own risk. There is a lot of stuff you can damage on your figure by doing this. Um, so if you're going to take the dive, make sure you're okay with possibly messing up your figure. Uh, for more videos, just keep checking the channel, and see you guys next time.